Miyota Movements Miyota is one of the most widespread choices among micro-brand watches. It's owned by Citizen Watch Co., Japan, and it manufactures mechanical movements in enormous quantities. For smaller watch brands, Miyota is a lifesaver. It provides reliable, inexpensive, and easily sourced calibers that can be ordered in low quantities. No corporate handshake required. The two workhorse families are the Miyota 8 Series and the Miyota 9 Series. The 8 Series, especially the 8215 and 821A, powers hundreds of micro-brand divers and field watches. It's an automatic movement with 21 joules, 21,600 vibrations per hour, about 40 hours of power reserve, and a unidirectional winding rotor that's famous for its Miyota wobble. It doesn't hack the seconds hand, so when you pull the crown to set the time, the seconds keep running. A small annoyance to watch purists, but irrelevant to most owners who just want a movement that works forever. The 9 series, including the 9215, 9039, and 9075 GMT, is Miyota's higher-end line. These operate at 28800 vibrations per hour, hack and hand wind smoothly, and keep accuracy within plus 10 to 30 seconds per day when regulated properly. Micro brands love the 9015 because it's thin, just 3.9 millimeters, which lets them design slim cases without paying Swiss prices. The 9039 removes the date function, perfect for clean dial minimalist pieces. Then there's the 9075 True GMT, a rare feature under $500 that allows jumping the local hour hand independently. Something usually reserved for movements in watches, costing several thousand dollars. That movement alone has made brands like Islander, Trasca, and Laurier release their first Traveler's GMTs without going bankrupt. Parts availability is another reason Miyota dominates microbrands. Nearly any watchmaker can service one, replacement rotors are everywhere, and the accuracy can be tuned tighter than factory specs with little effort. In short, Miyota is the Toyota Corolla of movements. Unflashy, but built to survive anything. Seiko Movements Seiko's movements are the other pillars supporting the entire micro-brand ecosystem. Through its subsidiary, Time Module Incorporated, Seiko sells mechanical and quartz calibers to independent brands worldwide. If you open a micro-brand diver, there's a high chance you'll find a Seiko engine inside, humming along like a tiny diesel truck. Most common mechanical options are the NH35 and NH38. These are the open market versions of Seiko's in-house 4R35 and 4R36, the same families that power watches like the Seiko Turtle and Samurai. The NH35 is automatic, hacks, hand winds, and runs at 21,600 vibrations per hour, with a power reserve around 41 hours. It's not glamorous, it's not particularly thin, it's not high beat, but it is bulletproof, affordable, and easily replaced. Three words every micro brand founder loves to hear. Micro brands like Helm, Draken, and Second Hour rely on this. Movement because it's almost impossible to kill. You can drop it, overwind it, swim with it, or accidentally leave it running in a drawer for five years, it'll still start up again with a few wrist shakes. It's the movement equivalent of a Toyota Land Cruiser. You'll get tired before it does. The NH38 removes the date window entirely, which helps with clean dial symmetry, something enthusiasts often demand. Then you've got the NH34 GMT, Seiko's affordable office GMT. It adjusts the 24-hour hand instead of the local hour hand, which is fine for tracking multiple time zones, but not ideal for serious travelers. Still, for under $100 in wholesale pricing, it opened the GMT market for dozens of microbrands who couldn't afford Swiss options. Seiko also offers mecha quartz calibers like the VK63 and VK64, quartz-powered chronographs with mechanical feeling pushers and sweep seconds hands. These are responsible for the clicky chronos you'll find in brands like Brew, Nizumi, and Stratton. They give the look and feel of a mechanical chronograph without the $1,000 servicing bill. One more underrated gem is the Seiko Epson YMXX series, like the YM55 or YM75. These hybrid solar or kinetic calibers pop up in micro brands experimenting with eco-friendly energy storage. They're not mainstream yet, but they're growing quietly in popularity. The reason Seiko movements dominate small brands is not mystery. It's access. Unlike Swiss companies that often gatekeep their movements behind distribution deals, Seiko will happily sell you a thousand NH35s if you can pay for them and promise not to slap a fake logo on the rotor. In short, Miyota gives reliability with finesse, but Seiko gives reliability with muscle. It's the movement for brands who care less about bragging rights and more about customers saying, this thing just works. Salita movements. If Miyota and Seiko are the dependable workhorses of the micro brand world, Salita is the one that sneaks Swiss prestige into small batch production without sending the price into orbit. Salita is based in La Chaux-de-Fonds, Switzerland. 
the same valley where many high-end brands are headquartered, and it's effectively the independent alternative to ETA, the massive movement supplier owned by the Swatch Group. Here's the short version of the story. When ETA stopped selling its movements to non-Swatch brands around 2011, the entire micro-brand world panicked. Salida had been assembling ETA's designs under license for years, so when that supply dried up, they began making their own versions. The SW200, SW300, and S2500 series, all mechanical, all Swiss-made, and all legally produced clones or evolutions of ETA calibers. The SW201 is by far the most common. It's an automatic 26-joule movement beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour, with about 38 hours of power reserve. It's practically identical to the famous ETA 28242 that powered countless Omegas and Tudors before the embargo. Micro brands love it because any Swiss-trained watchmaker can service it blindfolded, spare parts are abundant, and it keeps chronometer-level accuracy if regulated well. Then there's the SW301, Salida's thinner, higher-end alternative that mirrors the ETA 2892A2. It's only 3.6 millimeters thick, making it ideal for elegant field or dress watches where you want a low-profile case. You'll find it in more premium micros like Formex, Manta, and Baltic's higher spec lines. For chronographs, Salida makes the SW500 series, their counterpart to the Valjou 77 5D. It's the mechanical brick that powers many micro-brand racing watches and pilot chronos complete with day-date complications, the classic Valjou wobble, and an unmistakable rotor hum you can feel through the wrist. Salita also created manual wind versions such as the SW210, perfect for vintage-style micros that want that tactile crown-winding experience. One thing Salita did better than ETA, they diversified early. They offer grades like Standard, Elaboré, Top, and Chronometer, allowing micro-brands to choose how much accuracy regulation they're willing to pay for. A standard grade might ship at plus of 12 seconds per day, while a top grade could run within plus 4, all the way to CoSC certified chronometers. The pricing is what makes it viable. A Salita SW200 costs roughly triple A Myota 9015 in bulk, but it gives a micro brand the right to stamp Swiss made on the dial and market it at $1,000 to $1,500 dotted retail instead of $400. That single inscription can triple perceived value overnight. In the end, Salida became the oxygen tank for Swiss microbrands after ETA slammed the door shut. Without them, companies like Zelos, Formex, and Fair would have been forced to either use Japanese movements or charge double. So when you see Swiss Automatic on a microbrand spec sheet, there's a 9 out of 10 chance it's running a Salida. STP Movements STP, short for Swiss Technology Production, is a younger but increasingly important player in the Swiss movement game, and it sits right in the same niche as Salita. It's owned by Fossil Group, the American company behind brands like Zodiac, Skagen, and Michelle. But unlike Fossil's fashion label reputation, STP actually builds serious mechanical movements in Switzerland, specifically in Mano Titino. STP started in 2006 with a single goal, to produce a fully Swiss alternative to ETA's 2824 when Swatch Group began restricting sales. The result was the STP-111, a 26-joule automatic with 44 hours of power reserve, hacking, hand-winding, and a smooth 28,800 vibrations per hour beat rate. If that spec sheet sounds familiar, it's because it mirrors the ETA-2824 and Salita SW200 almost line for line. The big difference? STP movements often feature a longer power reserve and a slightly more decorated finish right out of the factory. Perlage on the plates, blued screws, and a nicely engraved rotor, even at the entry level. Micro brands like Formex, Notice, and Brew have adopted STP movements when they want Swiss-made appeal without Salida's price inflation. They're reliable, fully serviceable by standard Swiss parts suppliers, and most watchmakers find them easy to regulate down to chronometer levels. STP also diversified early. There's the STP313, a hand-wound version of the base caliber. Same dimensions, fewer parts, slightly thinner. The STP212 adds a date complication with smoother action than early Celitus, and the STP615 introduces a skeletonized version for brands wanting to show off their movement without spending five figures on custom decoration. The most interesting part, though, is Fossil's industrial muscle behind it. Unlike many independent Swiss suppliers who struggle to scale production, 
STP can produce movements in the tens of thousands thanks to Fossil's funding and logistics. That makes it one of the few Swiss suppliers that can actually handle micro-brand level orders consistently without year-long wait times. Quality control has improved massively over the last five years. Early STP-111 batches had uneven accuracy and loose rotors, but modern examples are robust and stable. Brands like Zodiac use STP exclusively and have proven its durability through long-term field testing, especially in diverse like the Super Seawolf, where accuracy and toughness are critical. In terms of hierarchy, STP sits squarely between Miyota and Salida. Cheaper than Salida, more polished than Miyota, and still proudly Swiss enough to justify that Swiss-made label. Microbrands often use it to bridge the gap between entry-level reliability and boutique-level refinement, giving them just enough luxury without pricing themselves out of the enthusiast market. Soprod Movements Soprod is the quiet overachiever of the Swiss movement scene. It doesn't have the name recognition of Salita or the marketing presence of STP, but among industry insiders, it's often viewed as the most technically refined of the three. Headquartered in Tremelin, Switzerland, Soprod is owned by the Festina Group, which also controls brands like Parallel and Jaguar watches. For decades, Soprod produced components and high-end modules for other Swiss houses, often as an anonymous subcontractor. Then, when ETA began limiting movement sales, Soprod stepped into the light with its own full calibers. Starting with the A10, which was a direct alternative to the ETA 2892A2. The Soprod A10, now often listed as the M100, is a high grade automatic, 25 joules, 28,800 vibrations per hour, and roughly 42 hours of power reserve. It's slimmer and smoother than the Salita SW200, and more in line with luxury grade movements used by brands like Omega or Longines in terms of design refinement. What makes the A10 so desirable is its chronometer-level finishing and precision, combined, with a thin profile that allows case thickness under 11 millimeters. Perfect for sleek micro-brand dress watches. Soprod also manufactures the C125, a genuine true GMT movement. Not a collar GMT like the Miyota 9075 or Seiko NH34. A true GMT means the local hour hand jumps independently while the 24 hour hand stays fixed. This design is far more practical for real travelers and used to be found only in expensive Swiss calibers like the ETA 2893 or Rolex's 3186. Micro brands such as Forer, Christopher Ward, and Formex have used the Soprod C125 to deliver luxury level travel functionality in the $1,200-$2,000 range something unthinkable a decade ago. Soprod also makes hand-wound movements like the Piro 24, similar to the ETA 2804, and several hybrid modules for power reserve indicators or small seconds displays. Because of its modular flexibility, Soprod is often chosen by micro brands that want to customize complications without reinventing the wheel. For example, adding moon phases or power reserve displays using pre-made Soprod modules. In terms of reliability, Soprod is excellent, arguably better regulated than early Salida runs. Accuracy out of the box often lands between plus 3 and plus 8 seconds per day. Serviceability is strong too. Any Swiss-trained technician can work on one, and spare parts are available through Festina group channels. The one downside? Cost and availability. Soprod movements aren't produced at massive scale, and minimum order quantities are higher than for Miyota or Seiko. That limits them to mid- to premium micro-brands with established cash flow. You won't see Soprod in $300 divers, but you will in $1,000, $2,000 Swiss-style field watches that punch far above their price tag. Think of Soprod as the quiet Swiss craftsman. Less marketing, fewer logos, but absolute precision where it counts. There's a great video on the screen now. Don't miss it, okay?